Welcome to Pianophonics, the result of my enthusiasm for teaching piano students of all levels and ages for over 40 years. I'm Carolyn and Abinay from Phoenix, Arizona, where I've taught piano and operated a music school since 1974. My love for curriculum design and instructional technology has resulted in out-of-the-box teaching options beyond the method book, now updated and online. There are two levels of materials for students, prelude options for younger students pre-K through grade 3, and overture options for older students and even adult learners, plus curriculum integration with 10 technical movements from Entrada Piano. Pianophonics offers two products, one old and one new. Toolboxes are reproducible curriculum downloads for beginning students, and we're very excited about our latest development, Boom Learning Cards Gamified Online Activities. Zoom with Boom for interactive fun, and stay tuned to learn how to receive a free Boom Deck at the close of our presentation. We're going to take a look at this newest edition, as well as some new perspectives in teaching music theory. Boom Learning Cards in the Pianophonics Library are available for all platforms, including tablets. They are created by teachers and used by educators, parents, and students worldwide, available in six languages. Boom Cards are interactive, digital learning cards focused on single concepts. These cards are self-grading with immediate feedback. Teachers can pick and choose sets based on what topics need reinforcing. Several sets can be bundled for special pricing. These interactive cards can be used in lessons, labs, or home assignments. The teacher purchases the license and students can use the cards for free. The Pianophonics Boom Learning Library has three levels of difficulty. For the younger set, Prelude Activities with Ziggy and Mousy. And for older students, two options, Overture Fundamentals for beginning students and Overture Foundations for intermediate students. Ziggy and Mousy will introduce us to our Prelude Keyboard Geography bundle that contains six decks, where you can purchase individual decks or a set. Let's take a trip to the Boom store at boomlearning.com. When we arrive at the website, the store icon is at the top. To the right, down a little bit, is Authors, and to the left is the search field where you type in Pianophonics. When my image appears, click and you arrive in the Pianophonics library at the Boom Store. On the left are the topics that we have, Prelude and Overture. We're finding Ziggy and Prelude bundles, and we're looking at keyboard geography. There is a content description at the top, as well as individual links to any of the decks in a bundle. We're going to look at keyboard guide notes with the five C's. At the top of any deck is an image that describes how many cards, we have 20 cards, and the appropriate grades, pre-K 1, 2, and 3. Click on the full-size preview to explore the first four cards in any deck. A navigation page offers instructions for play. We're in the process of creating audio instructions for our younger non-reading students. Mousy is check answer and move to the next card. Mousy moves us to the free PDF download that accompanies this deck with our five C's. We meet Ziggy. We drag Ziggy with a mouse or a finger to the correct note, middle C. Mousy checks our answer. What happens if we don't drag Ziggy to base C? He's unhappy. He flies back home to his safety box. Immediate feedback. He sticks like glue on the correct answer. When an entire deck is completed, a score appears at the end. Let's return to our presentation and check out Overture Boom Decks for older students with a theory triangle. Notice the base of our theory triangle is pentascales and triads. Triads naturally occur in any five-finger pentascale, simply combinations of half steps and whole steps. What can be taught within the structure of five notes and five fingers? Let me introduce five-finger position theory from the beginning with beginning students of all ages. We start with a piano and half steps and whole steps and a hand which has five fingers in a pentascale position. And within that pentascale pattern, we can find a triad hidden on tones one, three, and five. There are three essential elements for five finger position theory. Let's have a look. The pentascale five note pattern contains a tonic and a dominant tone. 
The tonic is the first note and the dominant is the fifth note on the keyboard as well as in our pentascale hand. A tetrachord can be constructed on these two tones and also hidden within our pentascale hand are those thirds. These are the three elements we need for five finger position theory. Tonic and dominant notes create the circle of fifths. These two notes are easily visible on a circle without any key signatures. Let's take a look at the Piano Phonics Circle of Fists introduction without key signatures. A perfect introduction to a primary structure in music theory when students know their pentascales. We're going to drag a letter to the correct blue circle. Here's our non-key non signature circle. C is a fifth, G is a fifth above C, and here we put the fifth above G is D, etc. These two tones are the foundation for the tonic and dominant tetrachord. And you might ask, what is a tetrachord? Well, let's go to Boom, not Google, to find out. A tetrachord is the first four notes of a major pentascale. Let's drag and drop a letter to the correct key. This Boom deck is a before notation activity with alphabet theory, keyboard spelling. Understanding basic concepts in theory is not dependent on reading notation. We also have tetrachord decks with notation. Overlapping tetrachords create major scales, as in our boom deck illustrates with tetrachord chains. The green tetrachord chain at the top is a C tetrachord on tonic and a G tetrachord on dominant. This creates the C scale. In the yellow tetrachord chain, the G becomes the tonic tetrachord, and the D is the dominant tetrachord overlapping, and we have a G scale, which produces an F sharp. And thus begins the order of sharps evolution with overlapping tetrachords around a circle. Piano Phonics offers four decks for drilling the order of sharps and flats. Deck one with shadow accidentals, and deck four with no hints. These drills are the precursors to key signatures. The hidden thirds that live in the pentascale hand create major and minor triads. Piano Phonics again offers two formats, before notation with keyboard spelling as, with no, as well as with notation decks. In a nutshell, the Piano Phonics Boom Library provides theory activities and games to reinforce the evolution of fundamental concepts and structures in music theory. The base of our theory triangle, half steps and whole steps of the pentascale structure evolves into the circle of fifths, the framework for music theory. And tetrachords and thirds are the lowest common denominators for all scale, chord, and construction. Theory can be taught before notation as well as with notation. Let's quickly overview the boom decks for older students with beginning fundamentals and intermediate foundations. We're going to check out fundamentals for our beginning theory students. We find six categories of theory topics, including directional reading, guide notes, in harmonics, and five finger position theory with pentascales and triads, major and minor bundles. Let's take a look at the Overture Bundles display in the Piano Phonics Store Library. We're going to check out Guide Notes Bundle 2. We can see in our bundles that we have eight decks. We see eight progressive decks that have mystery notes, seconds, thirds, fourths, and fifths above and below guide notes. We'll check out deck number four. We find that Mousy has been replaced with a piano phonics icon to turn the page. Here is our free PDF download with our grand staff guide notes that we use in piano phonics. We're going to drag a movable note up or down, a second or third from the guide note, and we're going to name the mystery note. Ooh. Drag the note a third. Here we go. Too fast. Immediate feedback. Oh, that arrow means a third above. Oh, and we didn't pay attention. Don't forget to type the answer it says at the top. Here we go with an E, and now let's see if we're right. A score will always appear when a deck is completed. And now we'll return to our presentation for a quick look at Overture Intermediate Foundations, where we find elements and concepts, scales and modes, key signatures, and chords. 
three bundles of elements and concepts serve as the preparation for scales, key signatures, and chords. Bundle one has activities with the circle of fifths and the order of sharps and flats. Bundle two has activities with tetrachords and thirds. And bundle three, major scale construction with tonic and dominant tetrachords. We are going to look at preview scales and modes. These decks are grouped by key. The C deck is a teaching deck for the construction of five scales that evolve from altering different tones of the major scale. We have natural minor, harmonic minor, mixolydian, dorian, and melodic minor, all configurations of the major scale with alterations. A help card is always available for any of those scales by clicking the question mark icon. A reference chart will guide. The yellow emoji is a skip card feature for the frustrated student and the final score reflects skipping a card. Let's say farewell to Boom and quickly say hello to toolboxes today. Toolboxes are designed for piano instruction with reproducible downloads and supplemental materials for beginners of all ages. Visit the Pianophonics websites to view a toolbox video presentation and get acquainted with our piano wheel which introduces a circular orientation to enhance coordination reading vocabulary and rhythm for all ages and curriculum integration with Entrada Piano Technique. We invite you to take a look at our digital downloads for ages 3 to 93. Food for thought in thinking about how you teach what you teach. As we close our presentation today, I hope you've enjoyed Piano Phonics online and in studio options beyond the method book. Lots of stuff. With Boom Learning Cards, feel free to investigate pianophonics.com and the toolboxes. Oh yes, the freebie. Don't forget to email info at pianophonics.com to receive a free link for your Boom Deck. We will have a virtual exhibit at NCKP in July, and our plans are to create a Zoom with Boom events with instructional video tutorials from the Pianophonics YouTube channel. Let us know if you're interested when you claim your free Boom Deck. Visit pianophonics.com for a link to explore favorite decks in their entirety, not a preview deck of four cards for the next 14 days. Thank you for joining us today with our new perspectives and our products. Have fun toolboxing and booming.